Hi, I'm Brendan, co-founder at theluxurypergola.com. We went out to St. George, Utah to meet with Jim, one of our customers who bought one of the kits. We installed that kit with Jim and then sat down afterwards to discuss his experience. That's what you're about to see. We did not script anything and these are all of his original, honest, and unscripted reactions to his experience with the luxury pergola. We wanted to bring that to you so you could get a first-hand account from a customer. I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching. All right, so we just finished our build out here in Utah. Um, we're going to go through everything with Jim, what he thought about it, uh, how he found us, decided to go with us, and get his overall impressions. So, Jim, how'd you, uh, how'd you come across the Luxury Pergola, and what made you decide to go with us? Well, we decided to convert our old hot tub pad to an outdoor kitchen, and we needed a cover, uh, and decided the pergola was the way to go. It gave us the flexibility to have some air to pass through, and some... Uh, rain protection and since we already had a fence we already had some wind protection so we thought it would be a good match. Decided the luxury pergola because we love buying stuff from America. We know that price point is going to be a little higher but we're going to get the quality that we want. Uh, our kitchen is going to be more of a high-end kitchen and we thought that a, uh, a knockoff overseas pergola uh, was not going to be a good fit for our needs. So you've uh, liked the American quality and everything. So what made you choose Luxury Pergola over all the, the other options out there? Well, like most people, I started my search on the internet and I found a lot of YouTube videos on Luxury Pergola um, that included the quality of the build and uh, a lot of instructional uh, videos as well. Uh, I guess the biggest seller was that it was a, a DIY product and uh, I was looking at saving some some money by doing it myself. Once I uh, I found them on the YouTube and researched them on the internet uh, at their website I decided to make a call and ask a few questions. Um, every call that I made to Luxury Pergola was answered uh, by a, an actual customer service person that was very familiar with the product and never had to leave a message once. Uh, that was very appealing to me because I was looking at spending uh, quite a bit of money on this and I wanted the support and the knowledge that Luxury Pergola uh, provided. Yeah, no, I remember talking to you several times uh, throughout the process when you called. I'm pretty sure I answered all of them except for maybe one or two. Uh, we can't guarantee that for everybody, obviously, because I, I guess you just got lucky. You ended up with me every time. Um, so on the, the, the YouTube videos, that was, that was my brother. What, what did you like about being able to, I guess, see the YouTube videos or, or what attracted you to, to our product in those videos? Well, I guess the, the videos supported the, the quality of the product, number one. Um, the, the video instructions were very clear and concise, uh, easy to follow. Uh, seemed to be well thought out and uh, would certainly help me with my DIY aspirations. When uh, you decide to place the order, what, um, what was kind of going through your mind? What was the, the lead time? Because um, putting, you know, $10,000 plus uh, on a pergola up front can be, can be difficult. So what, what made you decide to, to go forward with it? Well, I think uh, not only the research on the internet, uh, but also my conversations uh, with you, Brendan, primarily, uh, made me feel at ease to put that type of money down, knowing there would be a, uh, a four to five week lead time at the time. Yep. Um, so uh, I, typically I would not make that decision, uh, but because of the comfort level that uh, you provided, and the information on the internet and uh, what seemed to be a very professional business, uh, I, I decided to, uh, to go with it. Yeah, to give it a shot. Exactly, yeah. and, it, and it turned out great. Good. Uh, there, there were some nervous moments, not knowing, <laughs> obviously, uh, but uh, when, when the truck rolled up, uh, that, that was all gone. So from the delivery side, what, what was that like? Uh, delivery was fine. Uh, we've got notice in advance uh, that the delivery was going to be coming. I guess there were probably three deliveries on our truck. We were the second one. Um, they came a little bit, l or called uh, late on a Sunday, and I asked if it was possible to push the delivery back till Monday morning at 8 a.m., and uh, they were there right in time, and the driver 
assisted moving the product out to the end of the truck and uh, had a, a help moving it into our garage, which we used as a staging area. Yep. So when you got those first boxes and saw you know, how many of them there were and then how heavy they were, what, what were you thinking? Well, I, I, I guess, I mean, I always knew it was going to be heavy in quite a few boxes because uh, that, that was covered on the videos. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, but I guess once you actually put your hands on it, uh, it definitely requires uh, a couple people, able body individuals to, yep. uh, to move a few of them. Mm -hmm. Some of them you could carry by yourselves, but, yep. uh, so it was probably what I had expected. When you opened up the first pieces of the, the pergola, were you happy, excited? What, what were you feeling when you got to actually look at the product that you've been waiting for? Well, the packaging was amazing. Um, I'm sure that, that contributes to the cost of the product. Um, uh, I don't think there was any uh, expense uh, cut, shortcuts, uh, in terms of packaging because uh, I think uh, uh, the product needs to be in pristine condition when you get it, yep. uh, not scratch, not bent. And our experience was that uh, the, there was none of that. It, it seemed like it just came right off the manufacturer's floor. So <clears throat> since we offer so many sizes, colors, shapes, um, we basically build everything to order now. We used to ha stock a few standard sizes, but like your product, it's a 12 by 15, which is one foot off our standard 12 by 16. We can't cut down a 12 by 16. We have to make a whole different unit. So. Um, yeah, we make everything to order and then package it up immediately so that nothing is sitting on the shop floor that could possibly get scratched, dented, bent, anything like that. Well, that was another reason I decided to go with the luxury pergolas because I had some very specific needs because I was converting a, an existing area uh, uh, to a kitchen with a pergola. And uh, the 12-foot option, uh, I found a lot of companies went with 10-foot widths. 12-foot uh, gave me the additional I was looking for. And initially I was looking at a 16-foot pergola and decided I really don't need that much. And then I realized uh, on the website that uh, there, there was some additional customized sizes and I decided 15 would work best for us. What was the assembly process like? Um, both, I guess, looking at it from yourself and then also uh, having me come out and join to, to help build it. Yeah, well, and that, that was a great opportunity. Um, it was after I made the purchase decision that uh, Brendan let me know that um, he would be coming out and, and helping me. And, and I thought, wow, that's uh, customer service. Uh, <laughs> the building process, um, you know, I, I guess uh, not knowing what I was getting into, although uh, the, the videos do a great job uh, when you actually have your hands on the product and, and start working with it. Um, you know, there, there's a little adjustments needed here and there, uh, but overall, uh, the quality uh, of the product, uh, the alignment, the fit, uh, w was great. Um, you know, I like unloading the heavy boxes. There is some heavy heavy lifting required, and uh, uh, but I would say that was probably, you know, mostly the uh, what re they refer to as walls. I would. Uh, referred to as beams, mm -hmm. uh, the longer ones, uh, uh, that, that was probably, probably the heaviest lifting and most intense physically mm -hmm. uh, part of, of the construction. And you know, ours, our, our pergola butted up to an existing wall that pre presented some access issues that we had to walk, work through. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, it, it, and, and I couldn't believe we got it done just about in the day. Yeah. And, and, and I knew at the beginning of the day it would be a long day, and, and, and it was. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it was uh, a rewarding experience. I guess once we finish our kitchen, sit down and enjoy it, uh, we'll look up and, and just enjoy it and not think about the hard work we, we put in that one day. Yeah. I remember when uh, I built mine, I spent a lot of time just looking out the window at it and like, man, I put that up. Right. That's, that's nice. And then my wife obviously loves the area too. Right. Well, we opened the blinds a few times to look out. <laughs> um, uh, we, we probably should have set a tent up out there. Yeah. Um, but uh, yes, it, it's uh, exciting and we're excited to share it with our friends. Yeah. So what was something that you think could be improved on the product itself or the experience that, that we can work on? Well, I mean, I would say the price, but I, I don't know. I don't know what we could do about that. <laughs> um, you know, we, we decided this was long-term commitment. Um, 
you know, it was it was worth us worth yeah. it to us to to spend that kind of money. Um, as far as uh, you know, customer service, uh, every call that I made was answered. Uh, the the I could tell a knowledgeable individual uh, was answering the questions. Um, that was all good. The delivery process was was slick. Um, you know, I really can't think of anything that that I would point my finger at and say, God, if, if they could only do this. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just, I, I haven't had that aha, aha <laughs> moment yet, no. and I don't suspect I will at this point. Um, for the, uh, the product itself, um, were you surprised, um, disappointed with the, the build quality, the, how heavy it is? Um, I actually thought, uh, given the fact the product is aluminum, I actually thought that uh, it, it would be much lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, you think of aluminum cans. Yeah. Um, uh, we didn't get aluminum cans. <laughs> uh, I guess uh, you know, manufacturing other countries, maybe you would get aluminum cans, but uh, it was surprisingly heavy. Yeah. Um, and uh, I have no concerns about the sturdiness of it and the ability to with, uh, withstand high winds mm -hmm. as advertised. Um, as far as assembly goes, um, there there were a few holes that had to be aligned a little bit, mm -hmm. um, uh, but and that was only a few times, and uh, we we worked through that. But most of uh, the fit was just unbelievable for the, as many pieces mm -hmm. and as large a unit as it is. Um, we even got, I even got my wife involved in in uh, putting together the louvers, yep. and uh, that really saved us a. Few you know, a few minutes there, oh, uh, at least an hour. Um, and it was getting late in the day and uh, we were yep. getting kind of punchy and tired. Oh yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, there's an opportunity to get the whole family involved in, in the build <laughs> if that's the direction you decide to go. Yep. So. Yeah, and with, with our business, definitely the whole family is already involved, at least yeah. on our end. So. Well, and, and after after this experience, we almost feel like a family, <laughs> yeah. part of the luxury pergola family, so. That's great. Yeah, no, we, um, we have we like to think we have great relationships with all of our customers, and not everybody has one of us come out to build it with them. But, right. Uh, right. But we're on the phone to you know troubleshoot, help. We had um, one one gentleman in California who called up um, my brother, who's head of production, engineering, all that stuff, and just walked through uh, basic assembly pieces just because they're struggling with one part of it. Right. Um, so it's if somebody's gonna spend this much money, we want to make sure they have a good experience with it. Yes, uh, and you know you don't want to mess it up. That's for sure. No, anyway. So, would you would you recommend this product to uh, to a friend, relative, neighbor? Um, no, I definitely would. If if they were looking uh, for uh, a product with the quality, mm -hmm. um, not everybody is. Yeah. But uh, you know, we'd be. I've told Brendan we'd be more than happy if there's a, a local potential buyer that's interested in the product that uh, they certainly come by and we'll, we'll share our experiences and and uh, the beautiful pergola that we have and, and outdoor kitchen yeah once that's completed show it off to some people for sure yeah. for sure yeah, we've already gotten some calls about that from not here but in Arizona um, somebody said they live on a river people are coming by on their boats asking about the pergolas it's, it's definitely a conversation starter after finishing our discussion, Jim wanted to bring their, his beloved dog Frankie in, who supervised the entire installation, to say goodbye before we finished up. <laughs> say hello, Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you for having us out here and, and agreeing to, to sit down with us and, and inviting us to, uh, to your home to, to build this. I appreciate it. Well, it's, it's been a pleasure and, and definitely a uh, memorable experience. And yeah. I thank you for coming out and helping us. Nice.